Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning and Life Hacks. This vacuum trick, super easy, cheap, and quick, is going to save you so much headache and heartache. I wish I would have been doing this my entire life. I actually made a video about this previously and it was so well received and I recently had to use this hack of my own and I thought I might as well share it again. Let me know in the comments box below if you know what I'm about to show you right here. So first thing that you want to do is take a sock. I actually ended up using my daughter's uh, nylon tight here and you're going to want to put it over the end of your vacuum cleaner. And depending upon the length of your sock, you might want to tie this off with a rubber band that would probably be the best thing or any sort of uh, contraption to hold this tight right here but if you use a long sock like this depending upon how far of a reach that you need in just a second here I'm going to show you my favorite way to use this yes my friend all right so let's say you drop some jewelry a toy under your couch under your bed rather than having to move all this furniture or maybe you're just cleaning under there and you're not sure what you're gonna find but you don't want to suck it up in your vacuum and have to dig in there and try to get something out this is what you're gonna do turn on your vacuum get your sock let's see what we can find And as you can see here, we sucked up an earring. Now, if I would just have been cleaning under there, again, this earring would have been inside of there. Now, my favorite place to use this trick right here, and for this, I would recommend using some sort of uh, nylon or pantyhose. Again, if you have a rubber band, tie it off, and that works just fine with a regular sock. The thinner, the better, uh, so that it doesn't reduce the amount of uh, suction that you get from your vacuum cleaner. That's why a pantyhose like this works so well. My friend, behind your washing machine, in dryer. I don't know about you, but there isn't just socks behind my washing machine and dryer. Things get dropped behind there. Quarters, pennies, the possibilities are endless. So before you clean behind there, just go ahead, put something on there, suck it up, and then you can take it off so that you can get full suction when you're trying to clean all that excess lint out. Now, if you are wondering why you should always always be opening the end of your tissue box. Click the video on screen now, give this video a thumbs up, sign up for the weekly newsletter, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.